This is what actually happened to my legs. I was born with legs, but I was born with a genetic disease called sacralogenesis, which caused the muscles in my legs not Hi, to hi, Nadine. At the age oh, two, they were hi, hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I was watching a video of you, and so I didn't realize that, you know, you were in the actual video. Um, yeah, sorry, I just, I adore your TikTok. Oh. I watch it all the time. Actually, that video is one of my faves because I, I the question that I get so often is what happened to your legs. Oh, okay. And so I did that video to help people understand that they were removed due to genetic disease and all the things. Yeah, well, um, we'll have to see if our kid today, Cameron, is curious about that as well. Yes, I'm so excited. Tell me about Cameron. So Cameron is 15. Mm -hmm. He loves sports. Um, he's going to be making us uh, a spicy, delicious snack. <gasps> yes. Yeah. And Cameron has a lot of questions and he's really interested in learning more about bodies. He's also really interested in having a family someday. Great. Yeah. Well, I heard the word snack, so that's really all I need. So I'm going to jump in the car so we can have that snack. Okay. Yeah, I am ready. Okay. Bye. See you soon. Hey, Cameron's house. <laughs> All right, let's go inside. It took us so long. Hi Cameron, how hey, are you? Hey, how's it going? I'm fine. How are you I'm good. today, it's so... Mr. Cowboy? <laughs> so nice to see you. I'm just gonna put this down for just a second and take my coat off, okay? Today, we're gonna talk all about like dating and what it's like to have a partner and very cool stuff. And we bought a box of things to get us started. Do you wanna open it? Should we open it? Okay, oh, you definitely <laughs> wanna it. open it. All right, let's see what's in here. What do we got? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, uh, a big blue tubby here. Yeah. Kissing sign for my girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and the big Kissing. hot dogs. Those look like lips. Stocking. This is it. Oh, great. I'll wear it on. Great. I this will go with my shirt. Always <laughs> bring with me a Good. little snack. I, I didn't eat breakfast today. So okay. There we go. They snack for us. Okay. Oh, okay. Are you kidding me? Every time. I got you again, yeah. Spencer. Every time. I get him every time. Cameron, what are some things you think people should know before they start dating, before they get, you know, a girlfriend or a uh, boyfriend or any kind of partner? What's important for them well, to know? Well, you should find a girl, mm -hmm. talk to them, basically, and like, get to know them. Mm. And then after you contact them, you basically fall in love. <laughs> yeah, now what if, you know, you fall in love and maybe you even decide that you want to have sex or do some sexual things, but you're not ready to have a baby yet. Do you know what you could do about that? Uh, of course. I, I'll be like, okay, how about we just take our time with this whole baby thing and, mm -hmm. and come to an agreement? That's I love right. that. Com I love that communication. You might have the conversation and they might say, well, I'm ready to have sex, but I'm just not ready to have a baby. And that's where that might come in. What do you think? What are, what's in here? I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I okay, fun. yeah. I'm really strong. Okay. Oh, this. Okay, you got it. Wow. <laughs> okay, what do you think those are? What are those? Gems and jellies. Gems and jellies. Okay, yeah. should we open one? Okay. Do you know what this mm. is? Cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite cream cheese. Begins with the same letter, though. Yeah. And the bagel. I, it looks like a mini bagel too, doesn't it? Yeah. This is a condom. And condoms are used for safe sex, number one, and number two, to avoid getting pregnant, mm -hmm. getting someone pregnant. When that is on top of anybody's penis, when they ejaculate, instead of the sperm going inside somebody's body, it just all goes into, see this tip here? Yeah. It just all goes into that tip, and then the sperm doesn't go into the person's body. And that way, it really reduces the chances of them getting pregnant. So this is something anybody can use if, for example, they're having the kind of sex where a penis goes inside a vagina, but the people are like, I don't wanna have a baby, or I really wanna reduce my risk of catching certain illnesses. This is something that can really help them. I'm kind of thinking of 
like say start a family I guess yeah. like in real life but my girlfriend won't allow me she says that I'm not ready but basically I'm ready I hope that you know you wait until not only you but your partner are really really ready to have a baby and just remember there's really no rush at all to start a family and in the meantime you can do a lot of fun things like playing sports <gasps> we actually have a sport we can play right now do you want to play a game yeah okay great. let's do it great okay so we're gonna pretend these are testicles and we're gonna try to get them where they belong inside the scrotum so everybody grab some balls. <laughs> now, in Perfect. real life, before you grab balls, you always want to make sure you have consent. Don't grab somebody else's balls if they're not okay with it. <laughs> oh. Come on. Oh. Oh. That's okay. Okay, Maybe we, we all missed so far. Oh, 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 and he gets it in first one. try. Well I done. mean. Okay. Ah, oh. Okay, third time's the charm? Yeah. No, oh. okay, but I hit the rim. I hit you the did. rim. Oh. oh! Oh my god, you're so good wow. at this. Oh. Can you tell I didn't play a lot of sports in high school? Ah. Maybe the balls I'm playing with are too big. Come on! Oh! Hey. Well done! Nothing but scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> now, just like these balls, testicles, also come in a lot of different sizes. Some are bigger, some are smaller. You know what the other thing, cool thing is? If your testicles need to be a little warmer, the skin on your scrotum will kind of pull them up closer to your body so they can warm up. Or if they're too warm, the skin of your testicles will sort of get looser so they like drop down a little bit and get cooler. Yeah. Okay, let's see, one last shot. Okay. Yes! Aaron, every time! Aaron, yes! yes! Nachos? Nacho time! Okay, I was wondering, do you know how babies are made? Babies are actually made in, in the lady's stomach. It's actually not the stomach. It's actually the uterus, which is um, a little bit below the stomach. And that's where, you know, babies grow before they're born. Do you know how the baby gets started? Mm, nope. So you have a person who has a penis and testicles. Kind of like this. Penis and testicles. Okay. Okay. So now let's do sort of a close-up view. We're gonna make this the scrotum. The testicles sit inside the scrotum. So if we could see through the scrotum, we would see two testicles and inside our sperm, here they are. You have millions and millions and millions of these. And so what happens is they swim through these tubes, and the tubes come up through the testicles, and they come out through a tube in the penis. That process is called ejaculation. Ejaculation is something that can feel really good. It might give us like fun, tingly feelings in our bodies, and we release all of that. Those are looking really good. They are, you're killing it with the nachos. Let's put that in the microwave, and then when you come back, we'll go. We'll get to part two. There you go, bud. Thanks. No problem. Needs to be a little bit more. Come on, Nick. Fire nachos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nachos are done. Oh okay, my amazing. Gosh. They look delicious. Can I try one? Yeah. Of course. Oh, these are really oh, good. Oh, Cameron. Mm -mm. That's really nice. Well played. Mm -hmm. So we've got our first person, their penis and testicles and sperm and sperm coming out. We mm -hmm. have a second person. Yeah. And so this person has a vulva and a vagina. The vulva just kind of looks like two lips at the bottom. But if you saw it up close, it would kind of look like this. First you have two sets of lips. So you have on the outside, these kind of like big, sort of more puffy lips. And they're called the outer lips. Mm-hmm. And the way you know it's the outer lips is that they're usually bigger, but also if that person is an adult or a teenager or anyone who has gone through puberty or is going through puberty, 
Most of the times there's hair on these lips. Then there's a pair of what we call inner lips. They kind of sit inside the outer lips. They don't usually have hair on them. The vulva is coming together. We've got the outer lips with the hair. We've got the inner lips, not hair. Okay, and now we come to one of my favorite parts of the vulva. Right sort of at the top where all the lips meet together, we have something called the head of the clitoris. I call that a feel-good part of the body because a lot of people, if they touch it or stroke it in a certain way, it feels really good for them. That's the head of the clitoris. You love it. Okay, and now here's where things start to get interesting. Inside these two inner lips, we have two holes. We have one small hole, and that's called the urethra. That's just basically the hole where pee comes out if you have a vulva. And then below that, there's a larger hole, and that hole is actually the entrance to a very interesting world. So there we have the opening to the vagina. There's a certain kind of sex where, you remember the penis? A person with a penis might decide that it would be fun and feel good to put their penis inside the vagina inside this opening. And if the person with the vagina is down with that and they want it, that can be a real good time. <laughs> and so how a baby can happen is this. Remember we talked about how sperm can come out of a penis when a person ejaculates? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna show you where the sperm goes. Sperm goes up inside the vagina. It starts swimming all around. Meanwhile, an egg comes out of the ovary it's traveling down the fallopian tube and sperm start trying to get in and one makes it. And that's when we start the little blob that if it's allowed to grow, will eventually become a baby just stuck here in the side of the uterus. And do you know why it looks like people who are pregnant have big stomachs? It's because that little blob every day grows and grows and grows. And as you said, the uterus is right here. The uterus expands and it starts to push up and out. And so it starts to take up the space that we sort of think of as being the stomach. And so the person's like whole torso starts to get big and bulgy. So yeah, that's how babies get started. Something that's really important, whenever we want to do anything with anybody else's body, including sex, it's really important to talk and to communicate and make sure that we're okay with what's happening and that they're also okay with what's happening. And get their permission. And get their permission. Because that way then we know that not only are we having a great time, they're having a great time too. That seems nice. It I think so nice. too, yeah. yeah. Consent is nice. <laughs> you know what else is nice? <laughs> These nachos. Those nachos. Yeah. Yes. High five yeah, to the thanks, chef. Cameron. Thank you. What I thought maybe we could do is make some drawings um, and then maybe do a little puppet show about dating, but I I think it would be really cool if we each drew a puppet of ourselves. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah? All right. As we're drawing ourselves, what are some like parts of yourselves that you you really like? I basically like the, just like being myself and I can do whatever I like. That's really nice. One of the things that I like is that I like to laugh a lot. I like to laugh, I like to make other people laugh. Nadine, what about you? Uh, I like joking around with people. I love to dance. I like some things about my body. I like my shoulders and I like my legs. I, I think for me, sometimes it, it's, it's nice to figure out what you like about yourself, specifically mm. when it comes to dating. Oh, oh, so true. Dating? Yeah. I love dating. Yeah. Like, what does that mean to you? Dating means like you go out and then after your date you kiss the you kiss your own girlfriend. Yeah, if if they say that's okay, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you have to ask first. Yes. I think sometimes for me, Cameron, I don't know if, if 
this is something that you've experienced, but because my body looks different, not everybody always wants to go on a date with me. Well, in that case, mm -hmm. I did my losses and just try a different person. Oh. That's right. Yeah, I'm here for that. I'm here for that philosophy. You all are really good artists. Mine is very... Um... <laughs> But yeah. you know what? You got you got all the components because there's your body, there's your glasses, I see your smile, you've got the chair. Meanwhile, I have not even filled in the face part of me. <laughs> now, Cameron, I love your attitude that, you know, if someone doesn't want to date you, fine. Kuna matata, no worries. You know your worth, regardless mm -hmm. of what other people say about you. That's really amazing, especially at your age. Yeah. yeah. Did not have that no, at your same. age. My girlfriend like says to me all the time that I'm beautiful. Oh, oh. that's so nice. She basically said to me that I love you no matter what. Oh, oh. I love that. Oh, that's, that's so cute. Oh, and that I can understand why that would make you feel loved. So something that I've I've learned as I got older is I try now to find out from the person that I'm with how they like to receive love mm. and what makes them feel loved. And so mm. I try to do those things. Yeah. So for example, I know with my partner, what makes them feel loved is they like a lot of like, like cuddles and my partner also likes to talk a lot mm. about just feelings mm -hmm. and different things. So that's what they do. Mm. And then I try to tell my partners what makes me feel loved. The the person that I'm seeing, um, they like to spend time. It's very important for me to spend time with them. Right. That's how they like to express their love. It's like me and somebody mm -hmm. in like in this part of the house house which I love. It sounds like you love a lot. It sounds like you're a very loving person. Mm -hmm. Cameron's got a lot of love to give. Yeah. So we're gonna finish off our puppets quickly. Uh, and then I saw earlier that you have a whole puppet theater you made. So I think we're gonna do a puppet show. Yeah, do you wanna do a puppet show? Yeah. yeah. Great. Mm. Okay. Okay, this is a kissing dating show. I'm outside, right? And my girlfriend in real life is holding me while I go out. And then basically, my girlfriend in real life, like, pulls me backwards. And then we go out. And then the girl acts consent if she wants to, like, kiss me and stuff. And I'm like, so I die. And then we both kiss at the same time, and then we were pregnant, and then we started a family. Wow. Wow, we went through the whole journey of your relationship. Okay, yeah. so this show had romance. Yep. It had drama. drama, it had consent. Five out of five stars, would watch again, would recommend. Yeah, I would even go as far as say 10 out of 10. I, absolutely, yeah. yeah, we need more stars. Yeah. Well done. So I'm just wondering, how might the story be different if your girlfriend asked you for consent to kiss and you were not in a kissing mood in that moment? Well, how would that play out? I, I would like, okay, but if I don't feel like it, then we can go to like shopping together. Yeah, I would feel good about that. How about you? Yeah. yeah. I did try again and we'll be on the kissing mood again. Oh! And then you have to have a family. Well done. Yeah. And that can happen in relationships. Sometimes we want to kiss. Sometimes we're not into it. So we might do something else like go shopping. And then later on, we might be in the mood to do that thing. Yeah. And I like that you said, let's go do something else to, to show that you still like that person. Yeah. You just don't feel like kissing right now in this moment. Amazing. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Well, thank you, Cameron. This yeah. was amazing. Welcome. Yeah, we had the best time hanging out with you. Yeah, so much fun. Um, did you, you happen for? to see what I did with my puppet when we left? This puppet? Yo! <laughs> um, you didn't tell me that you were like an actual artist. This is incredible. Look, look at mine. Just look at mine again. Okay, but you know what? I really appreciate the jazz hands. They're just different styles. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we did a lot today. I mean, Ooh. we made the puppets. 
We played scrotum ball. Um, and then we had that like really fun anatomy lesson too. Yeah. Oh, so I feel good about it. How about you? Yeah, I thought it was great. And I love that we ended sort of with puppets and talking about relationships. I thought that was really lovely. And Cameron is just so lovely. He really is. Okay, so I will see you later. Yeah, okay. Bye. Bye. To learn more about today's episode from our experts, go to everybodycurious.com. Or follow us on Instagram at everybodycurious. Actually, Nadine, you should tell them you're social too. Oh, okay. Uh, and if you want to follow me, you can find me at nadinethornhill.com or on all social platforms at Nadine Thornhill. And if you're looking to follow me, you can follow me on any platform at at Spencer to the West. I already do. <laughs>